differently than I do. But I mean, but that's the thing. I think it's it, it's telling that two that competent people can't get the same answer. I don't know. It it seems like it should be a lot more straightforward than you would think. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, are you seeing the financial reports? Reporting yeah. Page? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I go into manage my budget and hold on. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna minimize you so I can see it a little bit better. That's fine. I okay. Go ahead. Make sure I'm pulling the right thing here. No, I want financial summary by year. Okay. And, we're and sorry, I get at this through the financials in my CI, right? Yeah. Okay. And this particular report, I don't think is in the process guide. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. To yeah, to 2019, and we're gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to 2015 just because through period 12. And and, and the period 12, that's months. That's month one that's, to 12. That's June. It's fiscal years. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So what Kirk is looking at is just the fund equity and reserves. When I run them, I'm looking at revenues and expenditures too. Okay. So fund equity and reserves is just what's carrying forward year after year. So from one year to the next. Okay. Um, let's see. We need GD920, not GD901. And the GD920, that is that is the account? Yeah, that's the fund. The fund, okay. And department 767. Mm -hmm, which is ESRM. Yeah. Okay. So now we apply filters. And so what this is showing us is in from 2014. The oh here's the other the other tricky part is what this is showing is 2015 is the 1516 fiscal year. Uh, refers okay. to it as 2016. I refer to it as 2015 because 2015 is what it was in the reports. But Kirk went through and changed the fiscal years, which is what threw me off too when okay. I was looking at the numbers going, that doesn't match. Um, and hold on, let me get the report in front of me and move it over here. Um, so this 11,000. 764 is what carried forward from uh, the 1819 year to the 1920 year. And so it's not even what's applicable this year. It's last year's number that you're having to answer to. So, okay. Right. But then when, when Alex and I did a run, it was only, there's only, only I guess, cause we're looking at expense, something else, but there was only like, uh, I don't know, $2,000 in the fund as of right now. And that could be, that's as of right now. And right. So but, makes, but I, okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'll let you go ahead. Just, I'll let you go ahead. That's okay. That's okay. I understand how, how confusing this is. So as of right now, let me open, can I open another one? No. Okay. So let me just down export this so I don't lose it. Okay. And then I'm going to run the report as of where ESRM is as of today so that you can see that. That move that over here. Okay. So this is the reports that I showed that are in the process guide that I I'm, yeah, sent out today. Okay. So I am just going to run this through period twelve because that shows everything. The whole year, right? Yeah. Yeah. There yet. yeah. 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 <laughs> um, I'm adding in the fund equity and reserves. We want the operating budget. Fund. Twenty and nine twenty is the lab fees. Is that the nine twenty? Yeah. So uh -huh. GD nine hundred one is general fund, and okay. GD nine twenty is lab fees. Okay. Okay. Um, this one. Okay. Yeah, so what carried forward from last year to this year is only thirty two hundred dollars. So so why so why was it showing up as eleven, thirteen, et cetera? Because that was from the year before and it got spent down last year. But I guess So he's asking you to re respond to numbers that are a year old. Okay, but I 
Okay, so I, I guess because we're looking at these numbers and thinking that we're spent down when I should be looking at the other no well be, no because we we tried very hard it was like I don't remember what it was two years ago or whatever to to yeah and I thought we did but I think what was going on was we weren't seeing the full amount and we just saw you know this amount and we were like ah oh, yeah we're spent down so for example one thing Alex was showing me was there's some number I don't even understand how this is possible but there's okay. some a travel related expenditure that we incurred last year that we paid but it hasn't gotten paid yet so it's and maybe, maybe it's a six thousand three three yeah. so it's just i mean i i have no yeah. idea why things are sort of hanging from previous years and and not being spent but we still have to spend them and it just seems strange so, to me let me walk you through what these codes are so this code that starts with a three it is account code mm -hmm. anything that starts with a three is the carry forward from the previous year so you have so i had three thousand dollars three thousand dollars left over from left last. over mm -hmm. yeah um actually no this is in reverse sorry this is you were you guys were three thousand overspent and this is probably so that, what she was talking about was that the invoice didn't get paid right and had the, or a refund had to happen i think she and i talked about that um, so wait, so pause for a second. So that, so that one, so that I thought it was like the six thousand dollar one. So this, the actuals, the actuals this, mean mean in this time period, that's how much. When it's blue in this case, that's saying how much money is in the account or how much is. No, and that's what's. This is why it's so convoluted. Okay. <laughs> so okay, so so the numbers that start with a three are the carry forward from a previous year. Okay. Anything that starts with a five is revenue. So what you've gotten in in this actuals column is $6,300 in lab fees this year. So even though it's a revenue, it's showing up as a negative. Yeah. And in the balance available is where you're going to see it like we would normally expect to see it. Okay. 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 So I should look at balances um, available. Okay. Yeah. Look at balances available in this case. And um, so this shows, and I'll pull the report from last year so we can see what this over expenditure is. Um, but that's probably what Alex showed you. Yeah. And then you've got $180 in cell phone usage. You paid $1,229 in postage and 2000 So it looks like you've got $361 available. Um, no, no, no. That, that's under, under, right? Isn't it 361 in the red? 361 over, yeah. Okay. Um, as, as of right now, as of as whatever, of right November. Now, as of right now. And I'm, as I recall, let me look at last year. The nice thing about this is that we can flip between fiscal years really easily mm -hmm. up here. Because um, I think I remember Alex said that there was like a field trip or something. There yeah, was yeah, yeah. That was supposed to happen. Yeah, and, and something yeah, got weird and about the payment. It hasn't been applied yet. So that seems um, weird to me that there is a – I mean, I get when things happen in, I don't know, July or June or something. But it seems weird when it's months and months and months and the stuff hasn't been paid or whatever. I, I don't really – it's according to Alex, that, that's something, it's something over in the, in the, you know, financial it, it happens folks all the time. And it is maddening. I had, uh, there was a year that we did the computer refresh orders mm -hmm. at a $50,000 Dell invoice. I submitted it five times for payment and it ended up crossing fiscal years and getting paid in the next fiscal year on general fund when the funds had been swept. Hmm. <laughs> I was, I was livid. Um, so is that, is that just they're overburdened? Or somewhat incompetent. Okay, so it just sort of sits somewhere, and somebody gets distracted, and it just never gets to the top of the heap, kind of thing. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So the, here's the eleven thousand seven sixty four, sixty three, sixty four that you're um having the answer to, and literally in that report, Sean, I would just put this as you know. We had this fund balance that carried forward because we weren't allowed to spend due to account category issues, and it's now been spent down and is no longer an issue. We're not carrying forward balances anymore. Okay. I mean, I mean, so I, I totally get that, but my worry was that we worked really hard to, I thought, get the balance down, but when we look at that, it, you know, I, I get the one time somebody screwed up with the travel payment, but it was, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but it was something like, you know, it was like, Twelve thousand dollars, thirteen thousand dollars, eleven. So it looked like, it, in which I totally think was reasonable when when you or Kirk or anybody looks at it like, dude, why do you guys have thousands of 
tens of thousands of dollars outstanding. And, and, and so that's the other one I'm worried about that. I, I thought we were down to zero or, or, you know, close to zero, a couple hundred mm-hmm. bucks, a thousand bucks, I don't think is a problem, but, but, but it, 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 I, I was floored. So when, when Vondana had said something like, well, there's some, there's some programs that have like five figures outstanding. And I was like, how could you possibly have five figures outstanding? And then she called it up like ESRM. And I was like, what? So I just was, I mean, I flabbergasted. It isn't even close. It was just like, what the hell? So it's, 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 it, it's, it's concerning to me that, that, um, well, anyway, it's what it is. So I, I guess I'll just talk, I'll speak to this year then and say, and so, I mean, I've already canvassed my student, my students, I've already canvassed my faculty, given that things are changed, you know, because of the online nature and we're not all doing field trips and stuff. So we're, as I think I indicated in that sheet that I sent or whatever, you know, Hey, we're, we're either in some cases eliminating the fees in some cases reducing them, but, yeah. but that's that. The other one that I worry that might be coming into play. And, and I don't know, and again, and Kirk knows about this. We've had this conversation and I've talked to Alex about this, but it was, you know, I was always trained that when we have a, and we do have a few ESRM course fees that are variable that, that, you know, aren't, aren't, aren't fixed that, that can range. Mm-hmm. And New Orleans is the classic, example one right and oh, yeah. and you know it's approved for up to i don't know, like five thousand dollars or something and, and right. normally and it's varies depends on your estimates right and in and, and the year and and trap and airfare goes up and some years we can we don't have to have a hotel some days we do so 